number 10 is the tried and true combination of giant mega minion now this is probably the least sexy combo on this list because no one really gets excited about a giant mega minion but what better eight elixir push can you put on the bridge when your opponent invests in a heavy beat down push in the opposite lane nothing is really better than the giant mega minion combo to have a ton of hp and a ton of point damage that's why a giant mega minion an unsexy choice comes in at number 10 on the list you really can't go wrong with that duo number nine on the list is a little bit more frustrating than number 10 it is royal giant and furnace now this can be an annoying combo to go against but there's no doubt about it it's also an annoying and lethal combination you have the furnace to set up with all those fire spirits providing that splash damage to supplement your royal giant push taking out swarm cards which are one of the best answers to a royal giant push that's why it comes in at number nine on our list of best two card combos in the game Coming in at number 8 is the OG combination of Prince and his brother, the Dark Prince. How could I have a top 10 best combo list and not include Prince and Dark Prince? You put them together, it's 9 Elixir, but it can pretty much stop any ground troop in the entire game, or building for that matter, that your opponent could throw at you. Now the downside is, if they throw one air troop at you, you're probably screwed, so just make sure that you supplement that push with a little something in the air, or you have your arrows, fireball, whatever, handy. But there's no way I can make a top 10 list without including the two Prince brothers. So that's why Dark Prince and Prince come in at number eight on this list of best card combos. Number seven is Golem Night Witch. Golem Night Witch is such a lethal combination. Before Night Witch was added to the game, Golem just straight up wasn't as effective as it has been after the addition of the Night Witch. The best thing about the Night Witch is she spawns all those bats and she can be so annoying to deal with from the opponent. The Night Witch in her bats can do a number against the best counters to a Golem, which are Inferno Tower and Pack. Inferno Tower and Pekka are really not a big deal when you have the Night Witch and Golem combo. The only thing you have to be worried about is, of course, Poison or a big spell taking out your Night Witch. Either way, you'll still have those bats to help out on that push with the surviving Golem. That's why Night Witch Golem, really the staple of the heaviest beatdown decks in the game, comes in at number 7 on our list. Let's go ahead and check out number 6. Well, for number six, I could have went with a number of different cards to combo with the Hog Rider. Of course, goblins, ice spirits, skeletons, I could go on. But I think the most annoying and possibly lethal combination with the Hog is... Freeze. Hog Freeze is such an unstoppable OP combination, literally unstoppable, because all of your troops are frozen. Of course, the element of the surprise plays a big factor into the power of this card combination, but I cannot include this list without including Hog Rider and Freeze as number six. Let's go ahead and check out number five. Number five might surprise some of you guys, it's Expo in Tesla. But think about it, how many Expo decks do you see out there without its building friend, building brother in arms, the Tesla? The Tesla is so strong with the Expo because you can set them up right next to each other. Tesla does amazing work against tanks such as a giant or really even against swarm, it's pretty effective. And of course, you're usually running that log as well. Certainly a, a, a key part to any great Expo deck is the hidden Tesla. Tesla standing right next to it. Also, you can use the Tesla on defense and then supplement it after if it survives with the Expo. So they just synergize so beautifully in pretty much every Expo Siege deck. That's why it comes in as number five on our list. Coming in at number four is Graveyard and any guesses? Poison. 
the graveyard poison combination has been around basically since the day that graveyard was added to the game very very seldomly do you see graveyard used without poison i mean think about it the only deck that runs graveyard without poison is graveyard freeze but because we use freeze we're not going to use it again so graveyard poison is just a perfect a match made in heaven if you will the reason being is because all the best graveyard counters are usually killed by poison that's why together they form a nine elixir lethal, lethal dose that can take down your opponent's towers and melt away those minions the bats the guards the skarmy whatever they're gonna throw at you you in terms of low HP swarm cards. That's why no list of most powerful combos, in my opinion, would be complete without Graveyard Poison. Coming in at number four, let's move in to the top three. Number three is going to be maybe a surprise for some of you guys, but I stand by this one. I feel pretty passionate about it. It's Ice Golem and Zap. Ice Golem is such a strong card, its utility is amazing for two elixir, but when you add Zap to the equation, they can kill minions, they can kill swarm troops, and that's a great one-two punch. I think that the combo of Ice Golem and Zap is really underrated, especially against, as I said, minion hordes or any big swarm attack coming down the lane. Ice Golem is enough to kill those skeletons on his own, those bats on his own with the death damage, but when you combo it with that zap then you can start taking out those spear goblins the goblins and the minions as well that's why ice golem zap comes in at number three on our list let's go ahead and move to the top two can you guys guess them we'll see here we go number two on our list is none other than lava hound and balloon that's right, Lava Loon. How could this not be top three on the list? Lava Loon is basically an archetype within itself. I could have included Balloon Lumberjack or Balloon Freeze, but let's face it, those combos just are not as prevalent, lethal, and could stand the test of time as Balloon and Lava Hound. They were made for each other. Obviously, both air cards. One's a big, bulky tank, the Lava Hound, and one is a card that can do uh, a ton of damage, and is only tower or building targeting. They go together like PB and J. That's why Lava Hound and Balloon comes in at number two on the list, and that can only mean one thing for number one. I bet you guys already can guess what it is. Let's take a look. Exynado. How could I not include Exynado as number one? Of course, again, I could include Baby Dragon Nado or Wizard Nado, but Exynado just has a certain ring to it, right? It's synonymous with annoying lethal doses of splash damage combined with pulling everything together for enormous elixir trades. You can take down huge golem pushes just using an Exynado or that Lava Loom we were just talking about forget about it lava loon minions add whatever you want to the equation that nato will pull it all together and executioner will make quick work of it i could not do this list the first thing i did when i made this list is put down executioner in tornado in the number one spot 